Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me using basically a full face of my favorites right now, my holy grail products right now, things that I am just absolutely loving and want to use all the time. I've seen Martina Lily, my friend here on YouTube, do this a few times where she does a full face of her holy grails. So I figured I would do that today. This video will actually go up either the day before my birthday or a day or two after my birthday. I'm not sure, but I wanted to do like a birthday get ready with me using all of my very favorite things. So we don't have any mishaps or anything that I'm not liking. So these are all products that I'm just really enjoying right now. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna start with a little bit of this Tarte primer. This is the uh, Pore Smoothing Primer from Tarte. I have really been loving this lately. I don't use it every day, like if I'm just doing a little bit of makeup, this is not something that I do, but if it's like a more special occasion or I'm doing like a full face or something, I do use this and I use it just right here in my T-zone. And I just find that it makes a huge difference in how my makeup lays in this area. Highly recommend if you struggle with a lot of pores or texture, this is really nice, but I kind of fallen back in love with this recently. Okay, for corrector, you probably know. The one I cannot stop using right now is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter in Pink Pomelo. I just can't stop using this. The only complaint I have about this is mine is getting really messy like on the sides here. And I don't know what's causing that. I keep kind of wiping it off and cleaning it and then it happens again. I feel like when you pull the wand out, it pulls some of the product out on the sides. I don't know. That's my only complaint with it, but I've been using it a ton nonetheless. I don't know. I just can't get enough of this corrector. It is just amazing. Formula, color, it works really well with any concealer I pair it with. I just, it's so good. If you're looking for one, you haven't tried this one, I highly recommend it. Okay, so the two foundations that I've really been liking lately are these two. The Lancome Karen Glow and then the House Labs. I kind of want to mix them, but I've never done that before and I'm kind of scared to do that. I think, I guess we'll go with House Labs in uh, the shade 160. By the way, I did order the House Labs concealer and I think it's supposed to come tomorrow actually. They did a release randomly a few days ago where for like two or three hours, maybe a little bit longer than that, for like an afternoon they had the concealer available on the Sephora app and you could order it early. I don't know why, I just knew because I obviously I'm on the Sephora app quite a bit and I got on it that morning and there, this message popped up and said you could get the foundation or the concealer that day. So I did order it, but I have not gotten it yet. So I will be doing a video on that as soon as I get my hands on it. I'm so excited for it. I have high hopes. I have a feeling it's probably going to be very good, but we will see. I wanted to also give you a little bit of a life update. Uh, a lot of you, or not a lot of you, but some of you have noticed, or you may have noticed, that I have missed a few uploads in the last month or so, and I wanted to kind of update you on the reason for that. So, I know I've talked about this in at least one video, maybe more than one video, I can't remember, I only really remember talking about it once, but um, I have been dealing with some stomach issues and actually I should say some unexplained stomach issues <laughs> and what I mean by unexplained is nobody seems to know what it is or why it's happening and 
This is not something that's new for me. I've had this for years. In fact, I've had this same issue for about 20 years. So I am about to turn 31. I started having these issues when I was actually around 12. So it's been going on for a long time and nobody, meaning a lot of doctors, uh, d know what it is. Um, but basically, it's, it's kind of a long story, but basically what it is, is I get kind of a gnawing stomach pain, I guess. I don't it's not really pain, but I guess that's how you would classify it. It's a little bit above my belly button and it will happen and it hangs around for a while. Sometimes it's a week. This last time it was about three weeks that this hung around and nothing really seems to help. I have tried just about everything in the book for this. And the hard part of it is, is I, it's hard to know how to treat something if you don't know what it is. And that's kind of the boat that I'm in now. So basically, I haven't been feeling the best over the last few weeks. Really, the month of August hasn't been great for me. And I've been working on trying to look into it further. So I've had some doctor's appointments. Um, and I'm just, I'm really investigating it basically. There's not a whole lot, honestly, I can share with you because I really don't know much about it, but that's kind of what I've been dealing with. So if you've noticed that I missed a few uploads, a few of you have messaged me on Instagram just in a sweet way asking, you know, if everything was okay and if I was going to continue to upload three times a week. And yes, I do plan to continue that. I don't plan to stop doing that. It's just this last month, I've had quite a few days where I just did not feel good. Did not feel good and did not have the energy or just feel well enough to get a video put up, finish editing a video, and especially to film. Um, when I feel like that, it's kind of hard to turn the camera on and film myself. And, you know, I don't want to come on here and complain about not feeling well and I know a lot of you watch my videos because you want to relax and take a break from your life and things that you may have going on and I don't want to take away from that. So I never want to come on and be negative. Um, but you know, I do want to let you know like where I'm at. So I wanted to kind of update you on that. I'll maybe do another video talking more about it. I'm just, I'm kind of in the process of trying some things out right now to try to figure it out. Um, I know that's kind of vague, but I don't really know enough to really share that much. But if you were wondering where I've been, that is it. Um, but I'm, everything is fine. I'm not stopping my three uploads a week. I may miss one here and there, and I'm sorry if I do. Trust me when, when I tell you I hate not putting videos up. It makes me feel terrible. But at the same time, I also know I have to take care of myself. And, you know, your health is important and it's something we all need to take seriously, including myself. And sometimes the reality is you just can't, you just can't film. Even if you want to and you wish that you could, you just can't do it. So... That's kind of where I'm at, but lucky, or luckily, I am now feeling better, fingers crossed, um, and like I said, I'm trying a few different things to try to figure out what it is, um, but it's just, it's a really frustrating thing, because like I said, I've tried just about everything under the sun, and I've been told it's all different things or I've been told I don't know what it is and it's it's frustrating sometimes but I am working on it and I just kind of wanted to let you know that yes I am fine and I'm not stopping um my uploads but that's why I've missed some so I'm blending my Natasha Denona concealer now which of course 
I'm sure you get the picture by now that I'm obsessed with that concealer. I, yeah, I just can't, I can't stop using it. So far, nothing has topped this one for me. All right, for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Sculpt Tape. I have just fallen back in love with this. I used it in my Natasha Denona video, the I Need a Nude Palette, which we are gonna use. And I fell back in love with this. I remember loving it when I bought it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I used it in a video for the first time, I want to say. But I remember loving this. I mean, first of all, the color is perfection. I use the shade Cool Bronze. And it just blends so well. So, so well. I think it actually blends better than my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I absolutely love it and the color on it is so natural looking to my skin tone when I actually get sun. This is like the tone that looks the most natural on my skin so I have been absolutely in love with this again. I think it comes in like four or five different shades but this one just really works well for me. Okay, for cream blush, I'm going to use this one from Pat McGrath. There's a few blushes that I love. I almost picked the Patrick Ta She's Giving blush, which is that new really hot pink blush. I also love that, but I figured we'll use something a little bit different. So this is Divine Rose from Pat McGrath. Oh, such a pretty color, and this, I love this texture this like balmy texture of these blushes definitely reminds me of the makeup by mario um soft pop blush veils these from pat mcgrath are very similar in the formula but i just love this divine rose color okay and then on top of that i'm gonna use the Givenchy blush in the shade 2. I have actually really been liking this. I was kind of scared of it at first, but I found that it's actually pretty easy to work with, and it actually kind of acts like a blush setting powder all in one, because it has that smoothing, blurring effect to it like the Givenchy powders do, but then you get the color of a blush. I just, I really am liking it. And it's not scary at all. I know they kind of seem scary to use a loose blush, but they actually aren't. Love this color too. It's a pink, but it's a little bit of a warmer pink than shade one. Shade one is more cool toned. This one's a little bit warmer. Now I want to set my face a little bit with this powder. This is the powder I can't stop using at the moment. Again, the House Labs powder. You guys, this powder, I don't know if it ever does it justice on camera, but it is so beautiful. It is so blurring, does not look heavy or powdery at all. It is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 if you're looking for a new loose powder. I love this one. I've also been using my little triangle puffs, which I go back and forth with these, but I think the key, first of all, I like it um, with this powder. In particular but I think the key to using these and not having your makeup look heavy is you have to use a very small amount this whole like baking thing I don't really get I mean I'm barely touching my skin but I see people like pound, just putting on all this powder and I that's what I don't like on myself it just does not look right. You got to use a little bit and use a very, very light hand when you're applying it. Also, I found it works the best if you keep your eyes relaxed 
as you're doing it, like don't raise your eyebrows or move your eyes in any way because if you do, your under eyes will move and you have little lines and wrinkles there and then that's when you get all the crepiness and all that. You have to keep them relaxed in their natural state and then just like had the smallest bit of powder. Okay, my favorite brow combo has been these two. Benefit Brow Setter and I have gone back to my good old faithful NYX Micro Brow. Uh-oh, am I out of it? No. NYX Micro Brow but in the shade Cool Brown. I think, I don't know how long ago, but I feel like NYX added Cool Ash Brown at some point because I feel like I used to use just Ash Brown and that one works but now that I have this one that's cool ash brown the undertone seems to be even better so this has just been my go-to lately i just kind of lightly fill them in when they're rushed down and then i rush them up and fill them in a little bit more Okay, now I'm gonna take this Benefit Brow Setter and set my brows in place. This, every time I do these two products in my brows, I just really like how they look. And this brow gel sets them in place without making them feel like crunchy or weird or anything. I just really like it. All right, I'm going to use this Makeup by Mario palette. This is his Eye Prep and Set palette. And kind of reminds me of like a MAC paint pot. But I'm going to use this as a base. I pulled this into my everyday makeup drawer this past month. And I've actually been enjoying it. Um, it can be a little bit on the dry side, but if you warm it up a little with your finger, it's a really nice eye base. All right, I'm sure you know what palette we're going to use. And it's this one, of course. The Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. Any excuse to use this again, I'm going to take it because I could not like this palette more than I do. I'm going to take uh, Fair first. Put that all over. Just kind of set that eye primer down. And I'm going to go kind of all the way up with that one. This palette is just so good. It is so good, you guys. I, uh, I don't think she could have done this palette a whole lot better than she did, honestly. I'm going to go into Stone and Mesh. So this one here and this one here. I'm just going to take... A little bit of both shades. Use this as a crease shade. I mean these mattes are just they just blend so well and you can build them up or keep them pretty sheer. I know so many of you have this already. If you have it and you love it let me know in the comments. I don't see what I don't see much you couldn't love about this palette honestly. All right, I want to use this shade, which is Sheen, because I feel like this shade didn't really get to shine in my video where I did three looks. Uh, I want to use this one right here. I was going to use it in the look that I used Muse, but Muse stands on its own. It, you really, if you put something with it, you won't really see it in terms of like a really sparkly wet shade because Muse is so intense, like in the best way. But I feel like this shade didn't get its moment in the uh, in the sun. So I'm gonna take that all over my lid. So pretty, just that beautiful, wet, glistening look, which I love on my eyes so much. It's crazy to me how thin on your finger those shades feel, the new wet effect shades. So, so nice. I'm gonna use this shade because I really love this shade in this palette, Vague. It's the one that's kind of a rose, like a deeper rose, but it adds some warmth 
without being like an orangey shade. I feel like a lot of times in palettes, warm shades that are added are a lot of times like an orangey kind of undertone, which is fine for certain things, but sometimes you don't really want that orangey undertone. And then I'm gonna take my first brush that I use and just kind of blend a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that sheen color and layer that on. All right, I'm gonna take the dark shade in the palette, which is Silhouette, and use that to make a little wing. And then I'm just gonna use a mix again of stone and mesh on my lower lash line. All right, and I am gonna take a little bit of my Mario pencil in the waterline in uh, the perfect brown. All right, for mascara, I keep going back and forth with this. Right now I'm thinking I actually really do like this, the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I think what's throwing me off about it is it's very, very black, and you guys know I love a good brown mascara. So I think every time I use it, I'm like wishing that it was brown instead of black. But what I will say about it is it very quickly makes your lashes look very long. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like a super volumizing formula, but it definitely does lengthen your lashes for sure and it's pretty separating too something i will say is i am turning 31 this birthday and when i was in my 20s i can remember thinking oh kind of dreading turning 30 almost and i don't really know why because 30 is not old and i know that I have to say, just from being in my 30s for one full year, I am already very much a fan of my 30s over my 20s. I feel like there's a lot out there that wants to tell you that once you hit 30, things start going downhill. <laughs> and, you know, I do have some gray hairs now, which is not fun at 30. But... I honestly feel like 30 is way better than 20, personally. Like, I would not go back to 20. Really, I wouldn't. Let me know what you think about that. I'm curious, because I know some of you are around my age, some of you are older than me. I would love to know what you think about that, but I have to say I'm a big fan of 30s over 20s thus far. Finally, we'll finish up with the lips. I have a few lip liners that I am kind of rotating at the moment, but this is definitely one of my go-tos right now, the Natasha Denona again. I need a nude in the shade Lion. I love this kind of like a neutral brownie pink, I guess. I really like the color, but I also just really like this formula in general. Also, I have not had my first pumpkin spice yet. I know they're out, but I'm trying to wait for my birthday, have my first one on my birthday. So I gotta wait a few more days, but I cannot wait. So I pulled this out because I have been loving this since I got it, this Clay de Poe, and I hate that I love this so much, but the Clay de Poe shiny liquid lipstick in 201 but then i'm also loving this dior lip gloss the lip maximizer in 38 i think it's rose pink or pinky rose or something like that or nude rose i forget but they're kind of similar colors 
This one is just glossier than this one. Let's do clay de po first. Yeah, this clay de po, probably the most comfortable liquid lip type product that I've ever tried. And I'm glad because at least I'll wear it. And I'm happy about that because I spent quite a bit of money on it. But the color, oh, it is so good. So good. Again, that was 201 Calanthe Orchid. Calanthe, Calanthe, I don't know, Orchid. I don't need this with this. So we'll save this. But this is also the gloss that I'm obsessed with at the moment. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed chatting and getting ready with me using... Things that I just can't get enough of right now, a lot of them were probably not a shock to you, but I just thought this would be a good birthday video, so I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for just supporting me and watching these videos. It is never something that I take for granted or forget that the reason I get to do this is because you guys watch my videos, and I'm just so grateful for that so I hope you know that and again I'm sorry for missing a few uploads I know it's disappointing I trust me it disappoints myself but you know I got to take care of myself but no I am not going anywhere I'm not stopping the three uploads a week I may miss them at times but I will be back I promise um, but just thank you so much for caring and supporting me. It means so much. I will have all of these products today linked below for you. They are affiliate links, so I do make a commission if you shop through them that supports this channel. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1, and I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.